it's Pinkmon and welcome back to another townie makeover. Today we are doing the Nishidake family from Snowy Escape. So first I'm going to read their household description. It says, rumor says the Nishidake family are sacred guardians of Mount Komorebi. Indeed, Shigeru fumes over the Ito family's local development plans. Sachiko, however, feels warmly towards Megumi due to an old friendship with a young woman's mom. Plus, she knows what's in her granddaughter's heart. Kaori moved to Mount Komodebi after losing her parents. She soon discovered two loves, the slopes and the son of her grandfather's sworn enemy. If she had one wish, she'd melt her grandfather's hardened heart. <laughs> so first up, we have the grandfather, Shigeru. He is unemployed, um, assumingly retired and his traits are adventurous, hot-headed, family-oriented, domestic, and chopstick savvy. His aspiration is big happy family. And then the wife, Sachiko, she is proper, loves the outdoors, family-oriented, domestic, chopstick savvy, and she also has the big happy family aspiration. She's also unemployed as well. And finally, the teenage granddaughter, Kaori. She is cheerful, adventurous, high metabolism, chopstick savvy, and her aspiration is extreme sports enthusiast. So this is the little love interest of Kiyoshi Ito from The Last Tiny Makeover, and I think they would make a really freaking cute couple as long as her grandfather <laughs> can get over the fact that she's in love with his enemy's son. So, kind of a weird, funny story relating to Kiyoshi and the Ito family in general. If you follow my 100 baby challenge on Tumblr at Pinkmon Simbler, one of my sim's daughters had kind of a romance with a random townie named Kiyoshi Wada. Not Kiyoshi Ito, but weirdly enough, Nanami, when she became a teen, she ended up having a baby with Kiyoshi Wada. So she had a baby with a dude that has the same first name as her brother, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Like, I mean, technically there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe she called him by a nickname like Kiki. I don't know. <laughs> but like personally, I could never date someone with the same first name as my brother. I just feel like it would be too weird. But yeah, I ended up doing that. And hopefully nobody who follows that challenge thought I was having Nanami get with her own brother because definitely not. <laughs> they just happen to have the same first name. And I think the game just randomly generated him with that name. I've noticed that if you have Sims in your game with a whatever first name, then I think the game might save the first name to its little list of random generated names because often when I name my sim something unique for their first name in the 100 baby challenge then I'll see a bunch of random townies getting that name too when they never used to get randomly generated you know what I mean <laughs> so I think that's probably why the game generated another Kiyoshi he is like a little pink haired kid from Mount Komorebi and he's evil but <laughs> anyways so another little story a personal one when you move to a new place do you ever like feel that you are a little more clumsy than usual because you're not used to the layout of your new house or apartment because that's me right now i keep bumping into walls and stuff <laughs> i i kind of do that anyway i'm i guess i'm kind of a clumsy person but yesterday i was like squatting down to reach something in the back of the fridge and i stood up and just absolutely smashed my forehead against the freezer handle of the fridge i guess i'm just not used to the design of that fridge it's kind of different than the one i used to have so yeah i absolutely smashed my head luckily i was wearing glasses so i think they almost like protected my eye from getting hit because that would have been really bad but i woke up this morning with like a red line right where the the handle hit me on the forehead and it kind of hurts if i touch it so yeah that was my day yesterday <laughs> so in these makeovers i did kind of the same thing as with the ito family i wherever they had a traditional mount komorebi outfit i left that outfit or modified it slightly and then added a second outfit for that category for like 
when they're not doing any traditional activities. So they have like two formal outfits, I think. What else can I ramble about to take up time in this video? Um, <laughs> oh, so the Pokemon Shield Crown Tundra series has officially ended. You've seen the last part already. Yay! I like when I finish something because then I have more time to work on my other LPs. And I really need to focus on finishing my Mystery Dungeon LP. There's probably a couple episodes left, but I have been struggling to get through the Wish Cave dungeon. And I think I have finally figured out a strategy that's going to work, so I'll probably be recording that today if I can. Don't know if I'll finish it because it's like a, a 99 floor dungeon but I'm at least gonna attempt to start recording that <laughs> and hopefully you'll get that this week. Also a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm getting really close to my lucky number. My lucky number is 444. I think I'm at like 442 subscribers at the time I'm recording this. So a couple more subscribers and I'll hit that lucky number. I'm gonna screenshot it just because <laughs> So if you aren't subscribed and you maybe want to be, you could definitely hit that button and help me out. We're getting closer to 500 subs, which is freaking amazing because that is halfway to a thousand. And if you know anything about YouTube, you know that a channel can monetize once it hits a thousand subscribers and a certain number of watch hours. I don't, I haven't really been paying attention to my watch hours, so I don't know how close I am on that part. But yeah, if I hit a thousand, I can officially monetize the channel, which will be amazing. I'm really hoping to hit that goal by the end of 2021. My hopes aren't too high for it though, because I've been doing this for years and every single year I hope that's gonna happen and it doesn't really. I'm gonna try really hard to put out content consistently and hopefully that'll help, but even if I don't hit that number, I'm very, very grateful for every single one of you who takes the time out of your precious day to watch my videos and give me likes, comments, views subscriptions i appreciate every single one of you so thank you and i think i am gonna wrap this up here so if you enjoyed please leave a like comment subscribe hope you have an amazing day and i hope i'll see you next time bye